Oh dear. Welcome everyone, it is good to be back and we are back with Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Thanks for joining me again for another continuation of our campaign in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I'm really enjoying this one. I know it's a little bit slow to get started, but as I've said since the start, I am looking forward to when we can start customizing and building some ships. But let's get into the campaign for a moment while that's in there. So I want to research a little bit more uh, before we start building our own ship designs. So before we get into it fully, I'd like to thank everybody out there for smashing that like and subscribe button that you have tremendously helped me grow and giving me the support to make more content for all of you and I'm absolutely loving it enjoying it and there's going to be lots lots more to come so thanks again and here we go so with our priority free priority uh, points or research we've got them in hull strengthening we've also got them in boilers and we've also got them in big guns so we've just ticked over I've gone ahead a turn we've ticked over a health on health strengthening so we have a, a little bit more or a better developed hull so we're going to utilize that when we start building big guns are ahead of boilers which we want to lighten our ships uh, by building better and lighter or reduce weights in the boilers so we'll quickly have a look at our fleet so we've got a few ships in Ooh, we've got a ship in battle. Have to check this one out. We've got a ship in battle. We've got a repair, a couple of repaired ships. Our last episode, we did have a battle which I thought would absolutely get smashed, but we came out on top. So it's one for one at the moment. And it looks like there's some AI battles going in at the moment or about to. So we'll go check that out in a moment. Uh, and we've got a few ships that we've just built. So that is good news, and we're finishing off a battleship. So let's have a quick look at finances. Uh, so we're looking pretty good. Got some pretty good income monthly, so that's good. Uh, we're still building or improving our shipyard size. I want that bef um, so we can obviously enlarge our ships and, and build bigger ships. And I'm going to continue with our current tech budget and transport oh our transport capacity has dropped so let's bring that up a little bit how much is that going to bring that to one percent okay now on our world map here we have a convoy battle here we go so let's have a quick look at this eight transports have been taken out i think we're going to have to battle this one because we can't withdraw. So into the battle before we look at ship designs. And it's going to be a tough one. I don't want to auto resolve it. Because if there is any chance, we've got two heavies against four lights and we've got a light. So it's going to be a tough battle. So let's have a look at where this one is leading us. All right, we're going to pause this up for a moment. Have a look where everybody's at. Okay, everybody, we are joined back into the battle. I have just sped ahead. I think we might be losing some transports. We are about to head into battle. We've just identified one of their light cruisers. And they've done the old smoke trick to try to hide from us. But I want this, don't know why this transport ship's trying to attack. So I'm hoping this transport ship decides to turn. But we've yet to land a shot. I don't think they've landed one on us yet. They've got torpedoes, so we've got to be very mindful of that. But we want to get, basically my aim here will be to slow them down so we can pick them off. There we go, we've landed the first shell. I'm trying to slow them down at the moment. So I've got uh, armor piercing to get some water on board. Maybe some engine damage. 
Now I want to bring up our light cruiser for smoke support. And all oh, this, no, here we go. So I think the AI is detecting this ship, so he's slowing the ship down, which is no help. But I want to actually, can I detach? I can't detach this transport ship. Get my map AI for a second. And. We've got some light damage. They haven't even targeted the transport ships yet. We've got this light cruiser. We might go... No, I'm going to detach you. Again, we're going to go this way. And you're going to aim for that light cruiser. We should be able to land some pretty good shots from here. I've only got five, but it's quickly rising on our accuracy. Uh, here we go. He started to move forward. Now we're starting to land some damage. Move it up a speed notch. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. He didn't, didn't hit the engines, though. Reset every time we reset our target, everything starts from the bottom again. Okay. It's 3.6%, 3.1. He's got the frontal guns. Put him on armor. Come on, down, down, down. It's going to put torps in the water on us otherwise. We are in top range now. This is dangerous. But he probably didn't predict this. We should be okay here. 
We are Miss Beautiful. All right, he's now reloading torps, which will take some time. But we need to get out of that distance. We are now going after you. At 8.7. Hopefully they can pump that water out. Because otherwise we're going to be very easy cannon fodder. see that coming. Haha, <laughs> he's so close, that was an easy shot. This is useless, this ship when got no speed and we have to take frontal attacks or rear attacks, but I'm not going into you. But hopefully you'll speed up, here he goes. Oh, come on.
See if we can get a couple of shots off. Sink him, there he goes. And I think we maneuvered out of that harm's way. Good. Now we're into the battle. We're going to leave those other two and we're going to try to take this one out. He now has no torpedoes left. need to slow him down a little bit. Slow him down. All right, that's better. We'll slow him down now. They're coming towards us, so we need to bug out in a moment and don't get too close into those two others. Again, you're going over there. Come on. We'll go this way and open up full starboard side. Bring in Tyrant. So, oh, is that Tyrant gone? That Tyrant might be damaged. Alrighty, come on. Alright, we're turning back. So far, we haven't lost a transport. That was the goal. Let's finish this so we can go build some ships. Let's bug out.
All right. Well, that was some battle. Uh, we sort of came out about even, as you can see, with victory points, but uh, we did lose quite a bit. But I suppose the win there, we didn't lose any of our transports. Well, wasn't much to talk about in that one, other than it's a battle we had to have. It wouldn't allow us to flee. So what I want to do now is, first of all, I want to end to the next turn. Got a few battles to look at, but we're now going to go into ship design. So let's build a new ship. And you know what? We are going to build a battleship. And let's build this battleship. I hope we can rename this ship at some stage somehow. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. We, I'd like to rename the ship, but uh, let's go in and have a look at what we do with battleship design. So, this is our ship. So we can pick what we're doing. Light torpedo boat, a light cruiser, armored cruiser, uh, a, a battleship. So, we are going to go battleship. Now, we can't get any bigger than this. We can only go 9,000. So, we are going to stick it to about 9,000. Probably should have. Oh, we can't, we can't rename ship, we can do it right there. So let's stick the top. We, of course, are going to name this first ship Wombat. I aren't historical accurate, I just want to have some fun. So we're just going to name him Wombat 1 BB. There we go. And speed, not too fussed about at the moment. We want to probably stick it at many for the bulkheads because otherwise we're going to be utilizing too much weight. Crew quarters can stay cramped. We don't have much research here, so most of this will stay stock standard other than our rudder, which will say, let's have a look, balanced. Okay, semi-balanced. Optimal. Okay, we're going to keep it at semi-balanced. Seems to be good for turning rates and less loss of speed. We don't have other than, oh, we do have some improvement. Underwater protected deck, second layer of thick steel, protected shields, the ship internal below deck. Well, let's throw that one in. It's going to throw a little bit of weight. And what is the difference? 80% armor weight, 5% armor cost, plus 35% armor strength. Okay, this one is looking better. Going to keep stock standard here. Let's put some tyrants on, and we'll start with funnels. What have we got? We want less target signature, but we don't want to spend too much as well. Let's do the 180 sun. main tower we want quite a bit of stopping torpedo spotting so we want that quite high tower spotting okay there's a 60 ton difference let's see let's put this on for now and see how we work it out and same for the top same for the rear tower let's do the same just put the top one for now And let's get into the main guns. We'll stay center line because we don't have a big deck. So if you just so if you haven't seen or played or watched any other videos on the game, you can with the bigger ships you'll be able to have side guns which will be able to go on the side. So you can have two main guns at the front, two main guns, or double barrel, triple barrel, even quad barrel later on. So we've only got a small battleship, so we're going to just try to throw on our heavies. 
12 inch and see what weight wise we'll throw two on the front pretty heavy and we wouldn't be able to put this on 756 ton so we're not going to be able to do these 600 ton we could do this but then we're going to have no secondary or casemate guns so let's take away the 11s we're going to stick to the 10s for now what do one thing i do want to have a standard one we have nine inch so he's got two nine inch so we are going to step up to 10 inch but it's not going to have as many smaller tyrants gun tyrants okay that's fine now secondary turrets we can pretty much stick anywhere on the side you pretty much want that it will allow you to fit you can also rotate it for permanent placement so endless possibilities you can throw it up here but as you can see you're probably not going to have a good field of view and then we've got our internal guns which we've got a couple in the front so if we want to be a front we could put some more armor in the front making it a lot stronger and head straight in but i don't really enjoy that type of battle potentially for while we're sort of trying to close the gap between ships we could put a couple i would rather put them on the side with secondary six inch but there's no real place oh maybe able to put them in here no so the smallest the biggest we'll be able to get is the two inches probably yeah oops we'll put threes no fours obviously too big and the fives were useless okay so that's no good either so we could probably put a couple of what does he have on the prince eight four inch they're only 14 tons each so we could put a couple of these And we actually will put the six inches there, 155. We could actually put those up the top. He's got a forward. Okay, so we've got two side, two starboard and port. And we have 200. Oh, we've placed another one here. Oh, no, we haven't placed another one. So what have we got? So we could put the light ones at the front as well. We've got enough to fill in another. That is cool. All right. And we have enough for a few two inch guns. So we will just put these, don't want to put them up there. Oh, we could put them in the top. Yeah, 
good. And we can go no more. That's it. That's us done. So ship details. Some guns have poor vector of fire. Which ones are they? Probably those ones. I don't think they're going to be out of... I suppose that could go to the rear, that would work. They're quite good at the front as well, so let's actually move those. And remove those. Only thing is they're not really protected. There are any lights, guns. Okay, we are done. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I think our ship's all done. I'm not going to add any torpedo tubes, but we could. All right, that is our first battleship. So let's save the design. We have our first. So let's go build a couple of these. Wombat class BB. So we'll build one for now. Let's build two. And we've lost a couple of lights and heavies. So we're going to go build a couple of Cruises. Actually, what's in build stage? So we've got, oh, we've got a couple of builds, battleship and a light and a heavy. Let's do one more light and heavy. Oops, what did I just build? Light. All right, so what have we got? We have a battle. Nice and even fight. We have a convoy fight. Convoys are a bit slow, so let's just go in for the even battle, huh? See how this goes before we finish off this one. All right, so we've got our first ship built and let's go in for the battle. See if we can get this one all summed up. I will shorten and f and speed through some of the episodes so it's not as long. Come on. Have a look at the archer.
one more torpedo left. We dodged that one okay. Torps nearly loaded. That's not what I wanted. He's got us here. We are struggling to damage him now. I don't think we've landed a shot. Oh, one minor shot. That was six percent, but we're still struggling. Oh, finally. Oh, and it was a good one too. That took its time. Whoa, what a shot. We really hurt him. He'll pump it out, but that was good. Good if we could get this engine up, but it's damaged. Yeah, he's pumping it up. Oh yes, we got him again. Oh, his main gun's down. One of his main guns are down. Oh yes, that's fantastic. Oh, there you go. Is this going to mean we have a chance? But we're going down then.
Gonna see what happens once that smoke clears. Oh, the smoke clears and he starts taking us out straight away. Need to slow him down because he's got those torps. So he's lost this gun, starboard rear gun, he's lost that, so if we approach him from this side, he's only got that forward gun firing and the smaller caliber guns. Oh, we got some speed back. Got our engines back, good. Final torpedo is going to miss. Twenty percent.
Ooh, we've taken on water again. Hopefully we can pump most of that back out. Bit surprising we didn't take a shot, land a shot on him. Here, pretty even. An even battle it was. Okay, everyone. Well, I'm going to speed through. Well, you're probably here if we're here right now and you're still with me. I've sped through some of the battles because they did take a little bit of time. The first battle we got belted. We lost quite a few ships. Second battle was an even match. Uh, the only advantage of the first battle is we didn't lose a transport. So if we go down to finances, we're losing quite a few transports. But in the battle we took control of, we didn't lose a thing. So we are now building our own ship, that we, our first ship design. We've called it the Wombat, of course. And we'll see how that all works out. We're going to have a few more ships coming off the production line down here got quite a few in repair now and we'll see where we go but at the moment we're probably losing the battle but again everybody thank you for joining me hope everyone is doing well and like always i'll see you on the other side